This is why so many ancient sites found over the years align with the stars in the sky. How Stonehenge and Gosek Circle were used to track the solstices. Many ancient sites aligned with the stars were built for tracking solar events, especially solstices. Stonehenge in England is famously aligned with the summer solstice sunrise. On that day, the sun rises perfectly above the heelstone, shining into the heart of the monument. Similarly, the Gozek Circle in Germany, which dates back to around 4900 BCE, has gates aligned with both the winter solstice sunrise and sunset. These alignments likely helped prehistoric societies organize agricultural calendars and ritual events tied to the changing seasons. Why the Great Pyramid star alignments mattered to ancient Egyptians. The Great Pyramid of Giza isn't just massive, it's meticulously aligned. Scholars have found that its internal shafts point directly towards specific stars. The northern shaft of the king's chamber aligns with Thuban, a pole star around the time of the pyramid's construction, while another shaft targets Orion's belt, linked with Osiris, the Egyptian god of the afterlife. These alignments were meant to ensure the pharaoh's soul could ascend to the heavens and join the gods. How Angkor Wat's layout mirrors solar movements. Angkor Wat in Cambodia is another ancient marvel tied to celestial events. The entire temple complex is laid out so that during the spring and autumn equinoxes, the sun rises directly above its central tower when viewed from the western entrance. This alignment connects the site to Vishnu, the temple's primary deity, who is also associated with the sun. What the Mayas El Caracol Observatory reveals about their astronomy. At Chichen Itza in Mexico, the Maya built a structure known as El Caracol, or the Snail, which served as an ancient observatory. Its windows are thought to align with the setting sun on solstices, as well as the movements of Venus. The Maya closely tracked Venus because they believed its cycles affected warfare and agriculture. This alignment was a tool for making political and ceremonial decisions, demonstrating how integrated astronomy was with Maya daily life and governance. How the Jantar Mantar in India showcases continued astronomical traditions. The Jantar Mantar observatories, particularly the one in Jaipur built in the 18th century, are some of the most advanced examples of pre-modern astronomy. Massive stone instruments track celestial movements with astonishing accuracy. Some structures measure the position of stars while others track solar time to the second. Though much younger than sites like Stonehenge or Giza, Jantar Mantar shows how ancient techniques of celestial alignment evolved and persisted across centuries in South Asia. What the Nebra Sky Disk tells us about Bronze Age star lore, discovered in Germany and dating to around 1600 BCE, the Nebra Sky Disk is one of the oldest known depictions of the cosmos. It includes symbols for the sun, moon, and what appears to be the Pleiades star cluster. Many scholars believe it was used to synchronize the solar and lunar calendars, a complex astronomical task. Why the Niluralu stone alignment in India follows solar cycles? In Andhra Pradesh, India, the Niluralu megalithic alignment consists of dozens of towering stones, some over 12 feet high. These stones line up with sunrise and sunset during both equinoxes and solstices. Oral traditions suggest the site was used as a solar observatory or calendar. Unlike Stonehenge, Niluralu is lesser known internationally, but it shares the same principle, using monumental architecture to observe the changing skies and possibly to mark sacred days in a ritual calendar. Do alignments across sites like Machu Picchu and Chichen Itza hint at a shared sky code? Some researchers have proposed a more mysterious possibility that ancient civilizations though separated by oceans and centuries, may have aligned their monuments according to shared celestial principles. Certain constellations, like Orion and the Pleiades, appear in myths and alignments across cultures, from Egypt to Peru. Machu Picchu, for example, aligns with the solstices and possibly even specific star clusters.